you fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Happy New Year. Hope everyone had a great New Year and holiday season. But now 2022 is upon us. Today the first video of 2022 for Michael's Fish Room will be an update on my planted angelfish tank. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here is the almost finished product. I'd like to thank everyone that reached out via my comments to give me advice. The advice, as I anticipated, was all over the place. You have too much light, you have not enough light, you have too much nutrients, you have not enough nutrients. You have too much fish, you don't have enough fish. You're fertilizing too much, you're fertilizing too little, you're using the wrong kind of fertilizer. Uh, not enough water change, too many water changes, too much water movement, not enough water movement. I mean, it was crazy. Um, so I did what I wanted to do, basically, and that is um, I took out the old filters that were completely engulfed in blackbeard algae, and I added two aquarium co-op sponge filters that were already seeded in my fish room. You can see the bubbles on this one is a little bigger than the bubbles on that one in the corner and that's because that one on the right has an air stone in it so if you ever want to know what the air the purpose of the air stone is it makes the bubbles smaller they're quieter i'm sure there's other reasons but that's you know that's kind of how i see it um i like the air stone i like the smaller bubbles i, I just have to get one for here um Anyway, I took out those filters. I replaced the airline that was also encased. I scrubbed the walls of the tank. I did a 50% uh, or more water change. I took all the decorations that were out that were covered in blackbeard algae. Most of the plants that had the blackbeard algae I took out as well. Um, then I got some of these African swords from my local fish store. It's all the plants they had. A uh, subscriber of mine sent me some of these little... Um, valves that grow quite quickly and you can see like this anubis still has a couple leaves with blackbeard algae and there is some i don't know if you can see in the glass probably there you can there is some brown uh diatoms or algae growing as well so my questions for the experts are should i cut the leaves off that anubis um and just keep scrubbing the the walls to get the brown algae out or is there anything else i need to do um there are, I think, two or three mystery snails. I, I was sent a few. Um, unfortunately, some didn't make it, but um, I don't think that was the, the uh, shipper's fault. It was packed spectacularly. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Anywho, um, what, what else should I do? I mean, the tank looks great now. Um, I even added a shelf up there to, for all my supplies. Um... The fish are very healthy. You can see how big and plump these black neon tetras are. Uh, the regular neon tetras also doing quite well. The Colombian tetras doing great. Now, we have these angels here, and this, this gold angel, she's, or he's a bit of a bully, bullying that really nice platinum. So, should I get another one so there's three, or do I get two more so there's four? What do you guys think? Um, the bullying has subsided considerably since I added more of these sight breaks, which I knew would happen. Um, but what do you guys suggest? What should I do? I know what I want to do, but I'd like to hear in the comments what you guys suggest I should do for the angels. Um, I, I think it's quite funny when people uh, give advice without actual first-hand knowledge of things. Uh, but... Whatever, that's, that's kind of how the world is, I guess. So there's some black beard algae left on that, that plant. And of course, the Anubis, as I showed you, do I take that out? Do I try to get rid of all the black beard algae? Um, what, what's the next step? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below and uh, let me know what you think of the tank. Um, I will be getting some more plants probably uh, when it gets warmer, but a lot of people aren't shipping plants right now because of the cold. As a matter of fact, it's... Uh, we're in the middle of snow begetting 2022 here in South Jersey. Expected anywhere from 1 to 78 inches of snow. So, well, that does it, folks. I hope you uh, like the tank. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, hope everyone has a great day. Peace out, yo. And I cleaned the bejesus out of the tank. 
Um, and that's that. I, uh, I actually, no, no. All right, fishy folks, here it is, the finished, well, semi-finished product. Uh, essentially, I want to, no, not essentially, that's, that's not even the right word. 